What's up, YouTube? Pastor Bob. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, so this is a Squire Esquire limited edition. Um, the limited edition is because of this color. I mean, it's wowza. <laughs> but the weird thing about it is probably the color that you're seeing is not the color that it is actually in person. It is a lime green, but the way that it shows up in the camera is very vibrant, and it's not that vibrant. Anyway, I spent about two hours trying to get the, the frets right. I mean, the frets were all messed up on it. Now well, they're not bad. But... It was just a mess. There's, uh, you can't see it, but there's fine scratches in the paint. And, uh, the sides of the, you can see where the transition of the color is kind of strange. Uh, but it's got a one-piece neck on it. It's got some flame in it. I mean, if you're into all that. Made in Indonesia. You got sealed tuners, nothing special. It is a special color. Uh, from Fender. I bought it directly from Fender. From Fender's web website. Um, there was just a lot of stuff. Like, you can see there's chips out of here. See these chips? Right along here chips is a, a dent there I don't know what that line mark is but there's a line mark there but anyway so I said well I guess if they've already screwed it up I might as well polish the frets up and do something with the ends I had to tr tighten the truss rod a whole turn um, I don't know what was up with that. Uh, this, um, the volume knob on this was pushed down there so hard that it was scraping it. So I had to pull that back up. And then you can't see it really on camera. But I'm trying to show you. If you look right along there. They didn't get that buffed out really good in that area. But there's lots of little scratches. You might be able to see them. But I got it mostly because of the color in that uh, I don't have this color in my collection. But trust me, if you're ordering one of these guys, it's not, it, it's not the same color. It's not this vibrant when you get it in your hand. So, if you're looking to get one because you like that vibrant color, I'm telling you, it's a, more like a, a forest green and, and a lemon lime got mixed together. That's more of the color. But, it's a lot of flame in the neck. The neck wasn't set up right. Uh, I mean... The nut's not cut too bad, but, you know, it is what it is. People say, yeah, well, it's a cheap guitar. Well, these sell for a couple hundred bucks. And uh, I waited. And I picked it up for, I think it was $139 shipped. And my thing about that is, is look. If you are, I love Squire guitars, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love Fender guitars, you know. Without them, we probably wouldn't have guitars the way they are. But I expect them to at least keep up with, you know, the upgrades that other people are doing in the world today. 
like Firefly. So if I was to pay the regular price of $200 or even say $169, I'd get a Firefly first. There's more options. Uh, the parts are pretty much the same. The pickup's probably even better in a Firefly. The hardware's, I'd have to say, better. You know, uh, the neck seems to be okay. You know, it's one piece neck. It seems to be nice. Okay, great and dandy, but there's nothing really over the top about it. Now, if I mod it, uh, yeah, I can probably make it really sound good and be an excellent guitar. But if you're buying one of these guitars, you're trying to buy something for, you know, a young kid, or your first time that you want to play something, I don't suggest buying one of these yet. If you like the color and you just want to hang it on the wall and you're a collector, absolutely. It's cool, right? But if you're just starting out or you like guitars to play, with very minimal things to do to it, right out of the box, I'd buy a Firefly. I mean, that's, I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not sponsored by Firefly. I buy a lot of them only because of the quality control. The quality control is great. You get a lot of upgraded things for your money. Uh, I have yet to have a Firefly out of, I don't know, I think I got about seven of them that I couldn't play right out of the box. And if anything, very minimal things. And that's only because of me being picky and that's my play style. So, is it a cool color? Yeah. But it's not this color in person. I'm telling you. So, I'm just warning you. If you guys are going to go to Fender's website and you're going to buy one of these. Before you buy it, take note. It's not that vibrant in person. It's it's a whole different color. <laughs> I was kind of shocked when I pulled it out. I was like, wow, they send me the right one. And now that I have it on camera, yeah, it, it's much different. So, but if you are going to buy one, look, the frets were gritty. They were snagging. Uh, you know, like I said, the, the fret side is all chaped up, and chewed up. Nut wasn't cut really properly. Um, got good string on it, though. <laughs> you know? Uh, I assume. <laughs> By the color code that they are. If not, well, they won't be on there long. <laughs> pots feel good. Yeah. I mean, all the pots. Pickups, you know, the pickup. <laughs> what can I say? But if you're looking for something and, you, and you're wondering, ah, do I buy one of these? Do I buy a Firefly? Because Fireflies are pretty popular. Look, I'm just going to tell you. If you're looking to play it, just go buy a Firefly. I'm serious. And I'm a Squire guy. I'm a Fender guy. But I'm just telling you. For the money, <laughs> look, no. I bought it because of the color. And when I got it, the color ain't what you're seeing on the screen. So, you know, what do you do? Well, it is what it is. Disappointed? Pretty much. You know, I'm going to have to mod it. That's all there is to it. I don't know. Probably have to do some painting of my own scheme on it. And make it a little more vibrant. Anyways, guys, just want to do a little short review. All right, guys, take care. God bless. This is Pastor Bob. I'm out of here. See you.